as Nigerians to equally leverage on technology to liberate ourselves. Why do we have to be buying dollar for 1,600? Because we are not productive as a nation. What we plan to do with cultural technology is to look in our environment, take the things we have, cheaply, bamboo, palm front, palm tree, all of that. Get China to give us the technology and we turn it into things we can use daily without having to import. Digivation networks again brought together stakeholders from both the public and private sector to the city of Lagos, Southwest Nigeria at its annual summit to discuss the future of technology and how it can be harnessed as a people. A recent World Bank assessment says Nigeria only captures a fraction of its digital economy potential and will need to make strategic investments to develop a dynamic, transformative digital economy. Themed Governance, Innovation and People, the Digivation Future Summit was geared towards fostering a technologically driven ecosystem. So we can imagine the amount of content of um, imports that um, we get and then the exports that we do. Uh, so media is helping everyone these days. It's helping my, my, my sector, filmmaking. Um, you don't need those days of um, manual marketing is fast eroded. You can make your movies now and then market it yourself, distribute almost yourself, you know, through media and then technology is there. The veritable tool. The tech industry is part of business. So there are laws, there are a lot of laws in Nigeria that people don't know. So we should stop calling for more laws and implement the ones we have. The laws that we should be amending are laws that adapt to new developments. Those are the kind of laws that we should be working on. So as far as regulations are concerned, Nigeria is even, for me, overregulated. But there are parts of technology that need to be regulated, things like artificial intelligence, you know, things like cybersecurity, how to tighten the regulations to be more modern. Because we live today in the world of uh, point-and-click intelligence, which has to do with, um, you know, the drive for technology, digitization, ICT, then digivation becomes something that's a cornerstone and a spine of not just the way we think as a country, but also the way we evolve, you know, as people who can harness, you know, the very best of technology. So um, uh, this particular summit, uh, you know, the one that has to do with innovation and governance and the way and all of the issues that actually have been brought to the front burner. Again, there's been an unraveling of uh, new knowledge about it, especially as regards how do we you know, harness the social media and internet and artificial intelligence. And we've seen all sides of it, the positive, the negative. The challenges uh, facing most developing nations is governance. Governance in terms of um, how do we create levels that will be independent, create institutions that will manage us as a people, as a government, and uh, as you know, uh, initiatives that will drive us into the next uh, economy that will be very, very sustainable, sustainably so. And in terms of innovation, and the kind of innovation we have today, they're working. But if we do not refine them in such a way that it will uh, they will stand the future economy, they become you know, just lame dog that we really cannot use for anything. And that is why we say, we, let, us, let us take a, a look at the innovations that we have today, how we can refine them, in, in, maybe improve on them or create new ones that the, make uh, Nigeria's economy a sustainable economy. Summits like this will cause an improvement in digital connectivity, digital skills, and other core areas of digital development, thereby enabling Nigeria as a nation to fully unleash new economic opportunities, create jobs, and transform lives. Roda Onuzuliki, LN247, Lagos.